be not just covid safe but uh, evil safe i am father thomas kurundanam you know sydney sides have been uh, hoping for a more relaxation of of uh, covid restrictions considering two weeks of uh, no community transmission of the virus but the premier is more cautious for the fear of a lapse of the dreaded spread of the virus anything that is adverse to the well-being of our brothers and sisters is to be resisted effectively i agree with that and my question is uh, are the virus and bacteria the worst thing that can uh, hinder a wholesome life with the physical illness at least there is hope of curing with the medication but there are other more nasty things that can stop life from being lived fully physical medications are no good for such cases ongoing anger revengeful attitude jealousy family feud malicious uh, gossiping abuse of power addiction to sex and many such evils can be more destructive in life than anything else in biblical terms uh, they are uh, demoniac influences medical systems could be clueless about uh, any restoration of life from such evils that can make life more miserable than uh, any pandemic could do jesus from the very start of his ministry cared for the people suffering from demonic afflictions every human being as a creation of god has a right to live life to the fullest no evil power or uh, influence should uh, be allowed to take away the dignity and joy of a uh, living fully with the god in the person of jesus with us we need not fear any evil the gospel of mark uh, is in chapter 1 verses 21 to 28 it is uh, announcing this great good news Jesus came to his hometown Capernaum everyone in the town knew about Jesus and his ability to cure sick and possessed people he did not disappoint them as part of his ministry to them he not only read and commented on the holy scripture in their synagogues but also drove out evil spirits from those who were possessed the demons knew who jesus is and said jesus of nazareth this announcement was like those who say I went to a Catholic school and I know all about the Bible and the church. Is that good enough? Jesus taught in their synagogue and they, they were familiar with him. Even the people who were possessed by evil spirit knew that he was the son of God. the knowledge and the familiarity was not enough to ward off uh, evil spirits for a proper exorcism which we all need to some extent we need to be submitting to the son of god without such a surrender our knowledge of jesus and his message does not produce the fruits of the kingdom of god Jesus spoke from his heart a heart that is touched by the heavenly father it is a heart of love and compassion as people of faith in Jesus have you worked 
on liberating those you find possessed by demoniac afflicts. Your life of faith in Jesus gives you a kind of authority nothing else could provide. When you act in the name of Jesus, it will just be as amazing as Jesus in Capernaum. Just as then, people around you also will be saying, what is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. COVID is to be dreaded. But to uh, know that uh, there are uh, other evil that uh, are more damaging in life. Therefore, be not just uh, COVID safe, but be evil safe. God bless you.